This machine in front of us is the Digital Miner. This is a fantastic piece of equipment from, of course, Mechanism, that we can use to mine up things from the Earth without really having to go down and get it ourselves. Now, it's made using Robit here and a few other materials. If we look at the Digital Miner, you can see here it needs some logistical sorters, which is some iron ingots, a basic control circuit and a piston, Robit, which needs some refined obsidian, Teleportation cores needing atomic alloys. It's not really that complex if you're already at this sort of level in mechanism. So what does it actually do? When I right click on it, you can see that there's quite a lot going on here. So let's take it step by step. First, we need to give it power. And there is this part here where it's green, and that is where you're going to give it power. But I'm using a creative energy cell. And you can also give it power on this side as well. Let's then turn it on. So here it is. We can see that it is actually working. Now I'm just going to stop this and press reset. So we've got some options here to start with. It's idle. It's not ready to mine. Do we want to auto eject the items that we're mining? Yes or no. Do we want to auto pull? Yes or no. Now what this actually means, I'm going to explain this in a minute in more detail, is do we want to pull from this chest above? There is an option within the digital miner to replace the blocks that we're mining. So do we want to leave holes everywhere or would we like to replace them, for instance, with cobblestone? And it's saying, should I automatically pull those replacement blocks from the container? And there's an orange hole in the middle under this chest. And this is where it's going to pull blocks from. So yes or no. And do we want to use silk touch? Yes or no. There's also upgrades. We can use a stone generator upgrade where it generates stone or cobble as needed. We can also use an anchor upgrade to keep the machine's chunk loaded because we could be mining, you know, who knows where. And then there's a speed and energy upgrade as you get in a lot of other machines. There is also a security. So you can say, is it trusted public or private? And there's a visuals on and off. This will basically show you beneath the ground like a blue kind of like glass where it's going to mine. I leave, I leave these off generally. So then how are we going to actually tell it what to mine? Well, we're going to go into the config here and you can see it basically works on filters and these are pretty intuitive. What I can do is say new filter. I can say a mod ID so I can say mechanism and save. And the mod ID is going to mine anything from mechanism. You can see it's cycling through all the different items from mechanism that it can mine. Or we can add an item stack. Let's say I only want to mine osmium. I can say, OK, please mine for me osmium ore and save that filter. And it does also have a priority with higher being the higher priority. I'm just going to go back into this filter and show you what this is here. Do we want to replace? Yes or no? If we turn on yes, what am I going to replace it with? For this instance, it's going to be stone. So I'm saying please mine osmium ore and replace it with stone. Again, it's going to get this from the top and we can say auto pull to automatically pull out from the chest. Now, in this mod pack that I'm playing, you can see the mechanism is actually replacing all of my ores. So if I know that there's no machinery underneath me or in the area that I'm mining, let's say it's just out in the middle of nowhere, what I can do is I can just say mod ID filter mechanism, and it's actually going to mine up all of the ores in mechanism, which are tin and copper, etc. Obviously, if you're using a different mod to, you know, consolidate all of your ores, then you can use a mod ID filter for that. Or you can individually put in the exact ores or items that you would like. It really can mine anything or nearly anything. I can also turn this filter off. Let's say for some reason, I'm like, right now, I don't want to use this mod. I only want to use this. You can turn the filters on and off without having to delete them. Next question is, where is it going to mine? Well, this is the radius around the miner, 10, 15, etc. And the minimum and maximum eye level. So I'm mining from 0 to 60. Do we want to turn on inverse mode? This means it's going to mine everything apart from the items in our filter. 
I don't want to do that right now. And also, should inverse mode require replacement? Because we can't add in the replacement into the filter, because obviously in inverse mode, it's actually mining everything outside of the filter, we need to select the replacement blocks for the inverse mode specifically, which is here. So it's saying, do I want to replace everything outside of the filter with this, which is here again, stone. And that is how you configure your digital miner. So let's say that we're not on inverse mode. We're using this radius and we are looking to mine up everything with the mechanism filter. I can then press start. Now you can see here that in the inventory, it is mining up some ores here. And you can see, oh, it's taken my teleporter. Oh my God, let's stop that. <laughs> I think it's just taken an item here from the part of a, another tutorial I'm going to film. And that is what you've got to be careful of. So it does have this inventory here where it's going to pull your ores out to. But where are they then going? Well, there's actually another orange hole on the back here that you can see. And that is where your items are going to be pulled out of the digital miner. And that is how you use it. That is how you use the digital miner for mechanism. Hopefully, of course, you did enjoy this video. Do check out the playlist on screen and in description because I have done literally everything for mechanism. Anything you possibly could need for this mod, I have done a tutorial on it. If you'd like to also support the channel, you can join Patreon that is in the description as well. And if you would like to suggest other mods to be made, you know, for tutorials to be made on, join my Discord. There's a Minecraft tutorial channel in there.